Hello everyone, this is Ryan Anderson. We're here in my kitchen doing a new video update for Rachel Hoffman's VDC uh, upcoming convention. Updates on my toner dolls that you haven't seen before. So hopefully you enjoy um, and we'll see you soon. Hi, this is Tab Danforth. Unfortunately, Ryan is suffering from seasonal allergies, so they wheeled me out to do the voiceover. Feel better soon, Ryan. This is Scarlett O'Hara, the final addition to Ryan's 16-inch tall, Gone with the Wind collection. The collection includes all of the Scarlett dolls Robert Tonner created. One-of-a-kind gowns, replicating Walter Plunkett's original costumes for the movie, were created to fill in any gaps from the Tonner line. Ryan's enviable collection includes every single gown, worn by Vivian Leah Scarlett O'Hara, in the classic 1939 extravaganza. This gown was created by Jonal Nazareth, who made all of the gowns required to complete the group. This particular one is the black morning gown that Scarlett wears when Rhett Butler, as played by Clark Gable, proposes marriage to her after the death of her second husband, Frank Kennedy, in the raid on Shanty Town. Here's a quick recap of Ryan's entire Gone with the Wind collection, which is displayed in the order the costumes were worn in the movie. Moving up in scale, here are a few American model 22-inch tall dolls that have been added to Ryan's collection. Originally a Belle Dame doll from 2016, this American model has been transformed into a member of the Gilded Age. Her gown is a masterful creation in cream blue and gold, by Cindy Friesen of Red Silk Thread. Cindy also created the fan, and her signature shoes complete the ensemble. An interesting bit of trivia, her original jewelry is one of four American model dolls that feature real gold and gems. Ryan made the necklace and earrings for this outfit, from estate finds. Connor's 2015 Basic Mary, American model, transforms into Cleopatra. This is the first time Ryan commissioned a full face repaint. The eye makeup was inspired by Elizabeth Taylor's, in her iconic performance as the Queen of Egypt. Two talented members of Ryan's Doll Club, Bay Area Doll Divas and Devos, or BAD for short, supplied some expertise in the doll's transformation. Her hair was cut by Carrie Carter, and the gown was created by Joe Colliff. The gown is a nod to Robert Tonner, from 2015's Deja Vu collection, as worn by the Amas doll. Bobby Taylor, of Pink Bubbles Spa, did the final hairstyling, as well as the face paint. As we are living in the modern age, the makeup was fine-tuned electronically in Photoshop before a final style was decided on, and before any actual paint came into contact with the doll's face. Her brows were arched in the manner of Elizabeth Taylor, and the magical eye of Horus was added, an ancient Egyptian symbol of protection. The beautifully detailed beaded Egyptian jewelry was all created by Christina Flinder, who sells from her shop on Etsy. It was the astonishingly intricate beaded collar necklace, that inspired the whole doll. Next up is Helen of Troy, part of Ryan's Royal Ladies Collection, which includes Guinevere, Eleanor of Aquitaine, Catherine de Medici, Queen Victoria, Tsarina Alexandra, and Lucrezia Borgia. Helen is based on a 2015 Garden Walk American model doll. The talented Lori Lenz re-rooted her hair, using a striking Titian red color. The wonderful Bobby Taylor created an elegant hairstyle, and Lori Leone made a classic Grecian gown, inspired by Robert Tonner's design for Andromeda, itself inspired by the 2010 movie, Clash of the Titans. Ryan created the necklace and bracelets himself. Finally, Elizabeth I, one of Ryan's favorite one-of-a-kind American models. Inspired by Kate Blanchett, as she appeared in the 2007 film, Elizabeth, The Golden Age. Formerly a Belle Dame doll from 2016, she was re-rooted by Lori Lenz. Her hair was styled by Bobby Taylor, as a faithful homage to the style worn in the movie. Jonal Nazareth created a beautiful replica of her gown, as well as the handmade headpiece. The necklace is from Superdoll, and other jewelry was found online. More goodies are planned for Ryan's collection. Coming soon will be a basic Mary doll, transformed into Livia Drusilla, the second wife of Caesar Augustus, and inspired by the TV show Domina. Thank you for watching. And as Robert Tonner says, believe in the power of play.